what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today i have a special treat for you it is a game boy advance sp um, case swap out and basically what i did was i bought this uh game boy advance sp pretty good price i uh, went ahead and ordered a new shell along with a glass screen from retromodding.com i'll put a uh, link to the to them in the description below uh definitely can't wait to get into this guys so uh without further ado let's get going Alright, so first up we're going to be removing these uh, screws here to actually uh, remove the case and then also we're going to remove the cover to the battery compartment and uh, go ahead and remove that battery. So um, you do need a, a, I believe it's called a tri-wing screwdriver. Um, you can actually order those on uh, eBay or Amazon. I picked this one up off uh, Amazon and also you're going to need a uh, precision screwdriver like the orange one right there uh, just to get the screws off. Uh, it's going to be some uh, precision screw driving or a Phillips a screwdriver and also the uh, tri-ring uh, screwdriver as well to use. Uh, so once I get the battery off here, then we'll move on to the next step. All right, once the battery is off, you're gonna wanna take off these two screws here. Again, use your tri-ring screwdriver, uh, remove these two and the case should come apart. Um, so once you get that taken care of, uh, again, make sure you're, um, you know, putting your uh, screws in certain areas so that way you know where they're at. You can see here we opened up the uh, case here. Uh, one side obviously has the uh, board and everything. The other side is just going to be basically the shell. Uh, you want to be careful in this part here so that way you don't damage anything. Uh, that little, uh, little square, um, I guess nut or whatever you want to call it, that actually holds the screw for the... Uh, battery cover there so make sure you don't lose that uh, if you do purchase a new uh, case it should come with a new set so you should have to worry about it if you do lose it by chance uh, next you're going to be removing these three screws here they actually hold the board to the case uh, as you can see they're uh, phillips so uh, just make sure you have your uh, again phillips um, precision screwdriver and you can move these real quick All right, so basically what you could do is lift up on this piece here. As you can see, uh, there's some of the uh, pads for the uh, controls and whatnot, but also this uh, ribbon right here, you're gonna wanna be careful. Uh, you're gonna wanna use something small to kind of pry it out. So that way, uh, there's like little tabs in the corner of each. You wanna push down on them and uh, make sure you release that ribbon cable, as you can see right there. Uh, be very, very careful, because that's actually for the uh, screen there. So you don't wanna damage that or break that. Uh, as you can see here, like I said, the um, little tabs on the side there, they just come out very, very, uh, you know, easily. So just make sure you're careful and use a small, uh, I guess like a flathead uh, screwdriver tip. Uh, and then again, also, um, you're going to want to remove the speaker as well. Uh, be very careful as well as that goes. Um, this one actually, the little, um, as you can guess you could say, is like a, like a foam or something like that. It goes on the speaker. Uh, actually stay there so you want to make sure you take that out as well uh, just be very careful with that speaker because you don't want to damage it as well all right so if you are just uh, you know cleaning up a, a Game Boy Advance SP system you're gonna to want to take these and go ahead and clean them up uh, with some soap and water um, and then if you're not if you're gonna be uh, changing out the base uh, the case that is uh, you're gonna to want to go ahead and um, remove these little uh, rubber grommets now um, when you do take them off be careful because you don't want to scratch the screen or you want to you know do any damage to the actual uh, screen itself so just make sure you're careful uh, it takes a little bit of effort to get these little things out uh, but don't worry if you damage them or something happens to the actual uh, little grommets itself because if you do have a new case you're putting in they should come with uh, some new ones so you should have to worry about that now the uh, screws that are behind these are going to be for the tri-wing screwdri tri <laughs> screwdriver. I'll get it right sooner or later. Um, and uh, all you're going to do is use that to actually remove the uh, screws here. So once I get those removed, uh, then I'll go ahead and come back on. Uh, again, guys, I uh, can't stress enough. Be careful with the screen. And also, um, you know, um, you don't want to damage it at all or, or scratch it up. So just be very careful. Yeah. 
Now there is uh, one more little screw right there. Uh, that's actually for the little cover for the hinge. So you're gonna wanna remove that as well. Um, again, if you're replacing the shell, uh, go ahead and just uh, make sure you, uh, you save some of your screws just in case if you have any uh, uh, ones that are missing from your new uh, shell uh, uh, kit. But uh, normally, like I said, I think they sh ship out uh, all the screws you need to put the uh, new shell back on. Uh, again, guys, just be careful. Uh, just try to remove the old shell there. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is actually feed uh, the ribbon cable through that little opening right there. Uh, just be very careful. Uh, again, there's another screw right there for you to remove. Uh, just be very careful when you do uh, run it through there so that way you don't tear the, um, the ribbon cable there. All right, so the next step is going to be pretty much the easiest step. As long as you uh, ran the, the cable through the little opening there, you're just going to have to close it up like that and lift up, and it should come right off. And there is your, uh, your screen there with the uh, cable attached. Now, again, like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, take this off, and I'm going to be replacing the plastic uh, screen with a glass screen that I also got from uh, the uh, uh, retromodding.com. So... Uh, go ahead and uh, set all that aside um, again if you're by chance going to keep the parts for whatever reason uh, just make sure you kind of put them together and set them separately away from where you're working at uh, and now we can move on to the uh, screen uh, just you can see the uh, glass uh, screen protector there uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, or glass screen that is sorry uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently uh, you're going to gently tug on the top here corner and just lift up again like I said gently um, it took me a little bit, but I finally was able to get it loose. It's uh, basically stuck on there, kind of like a sticker. Uh, so you just lift up on it, and there you go. There's the uh, plastic uh, older one. And uh, what I didn't do this time uh, is uh, actually wipe down the screen, so that way there's no dust on there. Um, so just make sure uh, you do it, um, so that way there's no dust or anything like on there. I was able to actually catch it before off camera. But uh, just to kind of reiterate, make sure you wipe down the screen so that way you get any kind of dust or any kind of, uh, you know, anything that might fall onto the screen so that way it won't come out on your uh, new glass uh, screen there. So the last step to put the screen on is basically, uh, after you cleaned everything, is basically just kind of set it uh, right over the, sc the actual screen itself. Uh, and then you're going to press down on the new uh, glass uh, screen there and um, go ahead and uh, just make sure everything's good, uh, make sure everything is aligned. Now, um, you don't get any other chances but the first time, so make sure you get it right the first time. Uh, lucky for me, like I said, uh, I was able to get it right the first time. But like I said, uh, just make sure you stick it on there, uh, remove the little plastic cover, and you should be good to go. Moving on to the hinges, guys. Uh, what you're going to want to do is very carefully, you're going to want to stick uh, one of the tips of your uh, precision screwdriver there and go ahead and stick it in that little hole there. And what you're going to want to do is push out so that way uh, the hinge pops out. Now, it's going to take a little bit of effort, but just be very, very careful. You don't damage anything or uh, by chance, you know, um, uh, hurt, your, hurt yourself. Uh, so just like I said, very carefully push it in and it should come out on the other side. Uh, once you do that, you're going to want to actually pull them out. Uh, now, it does take, again, a little effort to remove them, but once you do, uh, go ahead and um, set them aside, and I believe uh, they go to a certain uh, side. So one goes to the left, one goes to the right, uh, and then once you're done, the uh, new uh, shell that you uh, purchased should come with uh, covers, so that way, uh, like in this case, they're gray, uh, the, the, the ends of the, uh, the hinges are gray. Uh, they're going to be a different color after you uh, swap it out uh, with the new uh, hinges. I mean, sorry, with the new uh, shell. All right, so now what I'm doing is removing the, uh, the tips of the uh, hinges, and I'm going to be putting a new uh, clear, uh, smoky, uh, I guess, black whatever you want to call it, smoky gray uh, tips at the end of the hinges there. Uh, like I said, when you do purchase a new shell, it should come with new hinge covers. Uh, I think that's what they call them. And then you're just going to want to go in and just slide them in. Uh, they go in pretty good. They just they come out a little bit harder. You have to slide them down. And then once you do that, just put them together and you should be good to go. And then, like I said, you're going to want to put the uh, left on the left side and the right on the right side. That's talking about the hinges there.
All right, guys, now once you do that, uh, you're gonna want to uh, actually put everything back together more or less the way you took it apart. Now, if you need to, you could always go back and watch it again. Uh, but basically, just putting back, like I said, the way you took it out, just put it back together. Uh, again, be careful with the, uh, the ribbon cable right there. Um, and then also, as you can see there, I put that little gray uh, a little cover there, and that's actually to cover the back of the LCD screen. So that way uh, it looks a little bit cleaner. Uh, I picked a, a dark gray uh, just because I felt like it would look uh, pretty neat on the uh, translucent case there, uh, or shell, should I say. Uh, again, like I said, you're just going to put everything back the way uh, you took it apart. Uh, now be careful, like I said, because sometimes you may try to put a screw somewhere it's not supposed to go. Uh, so just make sure you remembered where pretty much everything went. Uh, again, um, the tri-ring screwdriver is going to come in handy in some sp uh, spots because of the fact that the new shells will have the same kind of screws. Uh, so just definitely make sure you uh, put everything back uh, the way it was. Uh, now this shell does come with everything uh, that uh, you need to put it back together. Uh, everything new uh, so that way you don't have to worry about if you damage any of the uh, grommets, you know, pulling that from the screen or whatnot. Alright guys, I just want to mention that uh, again, I got this uh, shell from RetroBody.com, go check it out. Um, and uh, also, um, I'm kind of going for a, a whole set for the, uh, I guess you can call it a smoky gray look for all my Nintendo products. Uh, I'm trying to look for a uh, original Game Boy as well. I don't really want to mess up uh, my personal original Game Boy that I've had since I was a kid. Uh, so I'm definitely looking to get uh, a regular original Game Boy and also doing the same thing uh, with that case. And uh, as well as a, a Game Boy Advance, uh, not the SP, but the Advance, and uh, changing out a uh, or getting a case and doing the same thing, so I can basically have uh, you know all the cases the uh, smoky gray. So it's definitely uh, on my list there to do, uh, and I definitely will try to make a video uh, on uh, one of those at least uh, because I know there's quite a bit on YouTube uh, how to do this. Uh, but definitely uh, keep an eye out for that uh, when and if I do make uh, those other videos as well. Uh, again, like I said guys, uh, all you're doing is basically putting everything back the way you took it apart. Uh, everything should go back into place perfectly uh, and just make sure that uh, you know all your screws and everything align up perfectly. Uh, then once you're done with that, then you can just screw everything back together. <laughs> guys so after everything is uh, screwed back together you're gonna want to go ahead and put the uh, battery back in put the cover back on uh, and then uh, this uh, shell kit that I got from metromine.com actually came with some new stickers so you're gonna want to put these stickers back on uh, once you're done with that go ahead and power back on the uh, system and go ahead and uh, test it out to make sure everything's working properly now um, with that being said guys uh, thank you so much for watching uh, let me know in the comment section below what you think of this uh, new shell and as well as uh, what you think of this video uh, thank you guys so much for subscribing.
to the channel as well as uh, uh, commenting and liking the video. I really appreciate it guys. Uh, with that being said, we'll see you next time.